your media, where you are. Welcome to Moscow with Brit and the Six. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> <laughs> is it a pew pew or a drum roll? I, I feel that like you do this every time. Every it's single time. Standard. Why? It's, I don't know. Why are we so not in sync? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How you go? How you doing? Yo, I know it's a tough How day. How you doing? It's a tough day. It's a tough day. I'm, I'm ready to murder everyone. That's what's up. Murder. Murder. And I think it's a good thing that our topic today is mental health. Yes. Because I swear to God. (laughs) Right now. You need to keep your shit together, girl. (laughs) I gotta keep it. So yes, you're talking about mental health. Kishan, I feel like it's such a, as much as it's a taboo topic, Mm -hmm. it's also a topic that everyone is like either touching on now or whatever, but like, I don't want to, like, I don't think our chats are going to be boring. I think we're asking some real questions. Yeah. Actually, what's the scoop on this? Um, so we're talking mental health. You say you scoop Gertie, there's, there's gossip. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, not like in a gossip. We're like, I dog, you. I feel like different perspectives. You know, we're yeah. so used to hearing like, um, like you know, like proper be like. Be kind. Yeah, be kind to each other. And then and I mean, there's nothing that's being kind. <laughs> yes, and then you're I mean, troll straight afterwards. But I mean, it's real, dog. Like people exactly. are suffering from this and people actually mm. like taking their lives from this. Exactly. Because of this, not from this, because of this. And I mean, like, let's talk about it. And I mean, I don't want to, I know that with us, it's not going to be a boring topic. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, I, I like, personally, my my mental problem is I laugh at my trauma. <laughs> <laughs> I, Brit is a shy guy, guys. This hat is a shy guy. I laugh at my trauma, dog. You got to, you What got must to. I do? Do I need to just be there sad? Uh-uh. No, for sure. Can't keep a bad bitch <laughs> down forever, <laughs> man. Like, you can't keep me, you know. Yeah, but like also, like, on a more serious note, you know, um, the, the suicide rates, especially within black men, um, in, 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 in the country, in the world, sorry, we yeah. black men in South Africa are ranked number two right after Russia. And oh gosh. I mean that is that is that, that is that's a, that says a lot. It's a very scary stat. And I mean I think for another show we need, definitely need to get a guy on here like, you know. Yeah, let's get a, let's let's do that. Today yeah. we've got a baby girl, a, a lovely lady. Yeah. That's a mental health activist. For sure. And so she she studied she studied stuff. psychology, right? Yeah, she studied. Yeah, she studied psychology. So you know, she looking can at me. I'm just like, <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, she studied psychology. So I think it would be dope to just hear from like a student perspective, basically, like you know, mm. what they teach them in school and what the actual reality of it is, yes. mm-hmm. and someone who's actually been to therapy and really advocates for it. So mm-hmm. I think that's going to be pretty dope. I'm actually excited about that. So we're gonna get. Real, we're gonna get deep with that one. I can already see, you like, <laughs> yo, Brittany, please don't cry, dog. <laughs> I won't cry. I'm fucking thingy, dog. Gonna, Relax. Gonna, oh gonna my cry. gosh, please. <laughs> Gonna, she gonna, she's gonna turn into Rudolph. I mean, honestly, <laughs> guys, and I, I, cry, I, I, I could probably cry. cry. <laughs> I, I'd be cry. Like I, I feel like Kim this. Kardashian cry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's still cute. Though. Then you're gonna end up looking like Fairy Wap. Dog, this has eyes <laughs> like they just. <laughs> Look okay, at no, us like, why are you laughing at my trauma? That's what I'm saying. Actually, my friends are the same people that do this to me. So I feel like we all laugh at each other's trauma. I mean, that's how we a get a little bit. Eyes. Like, because sometimes shit is really heavy, and you can't believe it. Like, there, there are times where I get so hacked, or like I'm in such disbelief that. The only thing I can do is just It's laugh. shocking that you're like... <laughs> you're like, no, but you're like, whoa. Really? What's really? going on? Is this a real thing? <laughs> really? So, Shem, we're talking about mental health. Yes. Okay. What's um, your song? What's your song? What's okay, your song so choice? We had, we tried, so, you know, we do this thing where we have, like, verses, like, my song yeah. versus your song. And I chose um, my one of my favorite songs. I can actually it's see you so crying long. to this song. No, I don't say. I don't. I go yeah. full, like, full. I'm fully inside. And I just listen to the song. Do you put fully blasted in my blast? car driving. Uh-huh. And I'm like, with my hair. You don't know, bitch. I'm inside. With your incense, boy. You know nothing. Like, I'm, not, I'm not a chakra hand. I'm a chakra hand. I'm not a chakra hand. I believe in the Lord. Um, <laughs> no, like, my song is Solange. Mm. Um, Cranes in the Sky. And I know yeah. that song talks about depression and how like you know yeah. it's hard to get yourself out of that yeah i personally i don't think i really ever like like if, i mean if you're talking mental health and mm. i'm just giving background to why it's my song mm. i think i've been i've been in a place before or like multiple times but before where i have felt like okay i'm feeling yeah. depressed i'm feeling low it's feeling dark yeah um because i have sometimes i do struggle sometimes like with anxiety and you yeah. know um and because of that I also, at some points, when I lost um, my dad, for mm. instance, 
went and also said, you know what, I need to get through this on my own. And I went yeah. and said, I want to seek therapy. Yeah. So shout out. That was the point point of me saying, I'm not going to let this fester. Mm. I'm not going to let myself overthink. Let me actually seek the help. And that thing helped me. Like, I know there's a stigma, especially like in black and colored families and people of color, like, no, you know, back just dog, pray. Uh, but just, just pray. pray. I remember the once I heard something so hectic. And my mom's like, just go wash the dishes. I'm like, sis, that's not going to help. <laughs> <laughs> but let me wash the Did dishes you know, though. Like, I went, 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 and I'm washing. I'm like, okay, well, I'm doing this. So, yeah. um, I think that's a big milestone for me, mm-hmm. and I think I'm more aware of that now. And I think I'm at a point in my life where if people are going through things, it's not my path and it's not me for me to understand yeah. and make sense of it or make it like logical to me. It's just for me to be there for those people and know that they love that I love them and that I care and that I'm there to support them mm-hmm. and vice versa. Because if it does become something where it's like, oh shit, this person's like dipping, yeah. how do I help them? How do I whatever? Yeah. So no, that's sure. my song. That's, that's your my song. story. What's your song? What's your story? My, my, my song is Alicia Keys, Why Do I Feel So Sad? Mm. So she actually speaks about a friendship breakup in the song. And what? I think, yeah. And I think, you know what? We don't, we don't actually realize how much of an impact breaking up with friends mm. actually has on okay. your mental health. Because one day... Like, for years, like, you guys are grand. You speak to this person every single day. And you have to cut that pe- that person or those people off. Mm. And all of a sudden, you no longer have, like, this support system anymore. Mm. And and each and each friendship relationship, well, actually, each relationship, relationship is it has different. To be a friendship. Exactly, exactly. So we don't talk about that. We're always so focused on how romantic relationships break your heart. For me, I've had to cut quite a few friends off um over the years. Um, and you definitely the type that cuts a bitch out. Like <laughs> no, it's I just will, your vibe yeah. actually. No, because honestly I won't be surprised <laughs> if there's no Moscow show after this personally. Yeah, okay. I'm about I'm about a, I'm about a steer cob, but um <laughs> oh, you don't tell me I can rock you. She I know that she can rock the, your Spider Man following <laughs> Kamu Cakes to <laughs> put <laughs> Oh, snap, I hate you. Shout out yeah, to Cakes. Shout out to Cakes. But yeah, um, so in, in that song, you know, she really delves into why does she feel so sad? Like, I know that it hurts, but I have to move on. Mm. And, you know, sometimes you have to choose yourself. You always you have, always to, have choose to choose, cho- choose yourself. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's the easiest decision. It's, it becomes really tough, but I'm a very decisive person. So for me to cut you off, it's not like a spring of yeah, the so moment yeah, thing. Been time. I've, 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 I've had some it. time to think about it. I'm like, okay, no, ink like, no, man. This has happened. Gani, this you know? happened. Exactly. Especially if I'm giving a lot more of myself, investing a lot more. Because mm. friendships, it's, it's, it's a relationship. We need to reciprocate. There are times where I'm going to give you 80 and you can only give me 20 and vice versa. So but when it's it be, though. But, but you, know, I don't, you know what I'm saying? But if it's me all the time and I feel like I'm emotionally drained and mentally drained, because as much as we all have our shit going on, mm. we also have to be a good support structure mm. to most of our friends. Mm. If I feel like I'm not getting that and, like I, and I'm, I'm going to ask you about it, I'm going to tell you, yo, I don't like this. You know, mm. I, I don't yeah, like Yeah, you're this. not going to just be like, actually, I'm done with I'm you. I'm done like, with Listen, you. Listen, friend, yeah, I'm not yeah. feeling this. I think it's so important, like, communication again. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think we realize the importance of communication, dude. I was reading an article exactly. last night um, that said even the way human beings came about and whatever, some book that was discovered. Um, uh, we don't know if it's a fact, if it's... <laughs> oh, I'm just sweet all the time, but that's me keeping it real. Um, we don't she know if belongs, it's, if She it's believes in the Big Bang Theory, this one. No, <laughs> don't I believe in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hell I believe in the Lord. No. Basically, how people came together, everything is based on language and the evolution of language and how that's part of our DNA. Yeah. And I don't think we take... It into consideration, dog. Some conversations are not going to be nice. Mm. But like, do you know the liberation that comes with being able to sit with a friend, a partner, a parent, mm. uh, anything, and being like, this is not going to be fun. Yeah. But let's talk about this. Exactly. Let's get this off our chest. Let's understand where we both are, or all of us are as a family. I mean, exactly. there's so many different situations. And say, do you not from here? Let's move forward. Sometimes yeah. it's okay to be honest and not like it. Like, exactly. Lesejo could be like friend. For instance, you're late all the time. I don't, I don't like it. 
pew pew. <laughs> 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 I don't enjoy it. Like we need to talk about it, but I can be like fuck. Let's say, oh my gosh, like whatever. But at the same yeah. time, because you're my friend, and because you're not giving me criticism just to put me down. Yeah. You're like, but friend, this is something that bothers me. And then it's up to me to be like, actually, exactly. do I do I care or not? But let's have the convo. It's not fun, but I'm old now. Exactly. Like, let's have it. Let's understand where we are and then let's move forward, dog. Exactly. That's how we resolve conflict. This thing of putting stuff under the rug for is sure. a big reason for mental illness and for exactly. depression and for people not being able to speak out, especially men, because they're not able to deal with their emotions. And that is primary. Primary. It's primary part of our being. Yeah, for so sure. So we're talking mental health. And we're gonna introduce our guest in a, in a, in, in a bit, in a bit. So cute. Hey guys, I'm Gamo Semenya, and I am at the Mask Off show with Lisex and Brit. We are talking all things mental health. Please tune in; it's gonna be really fun. Please. Welcome back to our show, guys. The so, ma- Mask Off so. show. You're messing with the Mask Off the, show. The, the Mask Off part. Mask Off. It's just Mask Off. Yeah, and today for our special guest, we have Miss Kamo Semenya. Hi. I'm stopping with it. I'm done with it. I'm done, done with the drum okay. rolls. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got Kamo Semenya in the Hizé today. We're going to talk about mental health matters. Mm-hmm. Um, she is a mental health advocate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Advocate. Advocate. Advocate and an activist. Same thing, yeah. Same, same thing, thing, really. We want to know, was it another one of those? <laughs> <laughs> the last show, my girl was struggling. Hey, listen, at least it's not my first language. That's Rena, fine. if it buzzes you, what is it? Dog, I'm colored. Oh, like. Afrikaans, right? No, no well, so she me. probably doesn't even know <laughs> a single <laughs> word in Afrikaans. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 First of all, when I speak, it just sounds like mad seven. What's up? What do you say? It's a head. It's a head. It's a head. It's a head. Hey, it's a head. You guys are literally derailing this whole thing. Okay, Let's okay. Introduce okay, Kamu. Okay, Kamu. Kamu. Our sorry. mental health activist, mm-hmm. influencer, mm-hmm. entrepreneur, mm-hmm. extraordinaire. <laughs> And mm. certified flattery babe. The BB flattery baby. Triple B baby. Is that certified B? What's yeah. that? Uh, certified triple B. What's that? Triple B's on these same Yeah, triple B's on these Beauty, body, mm. brains. brains. Oh, uh, uh, I can get behind that. You know what I was saying? How are you today? How are you doing? I can get behind that. I'm good. Ish. Maybe. Good. It's one of those days. Kamu's a sensitive, yeah. Kamu's a sensitive. This is one of the most sensitive, but like, purest hands that I know in the sense that like, mm. if she's going through something as a friend, she'll let you know. So that it's not like, oh guys, I'm like, oh, she'll just talk to me like, how come, what's wrong? She'll be like, guys. Yeah. Yeah, straight up. She, I have she, my days. Yeah, but. she 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 she'll actually let you know, or she'll just. Oh, phone will be off. Actually, never hear from her. Yeah, because she's been sleeping the whole you day. Know, when I went to the other day, I phone, and then I'm like, how oh, her phone's off? Is this bitch doing? She pulling one of these, and she knows we made. I plans. just do what's good for my mental health in that moment. If I need you to sleep it. the whole day, I sleep. I think personally, Gamma also just loves sleeping. I she do. can be in hibernation. I believe and in make sleep money. more than I believe in men, and I believe in men, yo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mental <laughs> illness. <laughs> Mental illness. Mental illness. Yes, yes. So, so comes like you know, um, you studied psychology. Mm-hmm. And still studying. Still yes. studying psychology, and yeah, man. I mean, we want to find out, you know, what a, you know, the basis of mental health. Like, mm-hmm. um, what, what is it that? in reality as opposed to what you're studying? Because you know, in theory and in practice, it's two completely different things. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we're just gonna ask you a few questions, you know, that I mean, that I'm interested in, that she's interested in, and hopefully you guys are interested in. Love you. And hopefully I can answer them. Yeah, yeah. And guys, remember, this is just based on opinions. We're not saying that she's yeah. a healthcare professional. I am not a professional. No, she's yes. not giving out Please advice. Please don't Please. come for my neck on the gram. I'm not a professional. Or on yet. that bird app. I'm so tired of you guys. Yo. Please. This is why sometimes, you know, like you need it, but you also can avoid this whole mess or social stuff. Yo. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, we did say that we're going to we're gonna speak about real things, 
no fear, no favor, no bias. And it's we ain't, all, it's we ain't afraid pain, of the right? trolls, guys. I wear a size seven high top, <laughs> Nike Air Force, okay? A black. And I really just don't care. Boom. So let's get into I just it. Don't. I love <laughs> this for us. No way. This is just, it's just literally, it's a bunch of. Bitches saying we're gonna talk our shit and you're gonna listen. Yes, <laughs> and if you don't agree, it's fine, babe. Everyone has their own opinions. And, and we meet move. us in the match in and the we boxing move. ring. <laughs> and we move. the sun is still gonna come up yeah. tomorrow. It'll so, be fine. Yeah, Apparently. Bridge, you wanna stop this up? So I think I think visions? just for like you know like we always say mental health this, mental health that, and it's like what is mental health? You know, and then when I looked into just like a basic definition mm -hmm. is that mental health is essentially what a what makes up your like brain um, processes or your thought processes mm. um, and that's based on like how you were raised based on your ideals your yeah. belief systems your behaviors and that's what kind of forms your mental health you know what i'm saying yeah for sure so i feel like it's good to understand what it is because we keep talking about mental health maybe people are just like Ish, mental health this means like what is this thing you yeah. know and what makes up mental health for sure and i mean look i think i'm also going to just put something into it you know, um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs has always mm -hmm. been taught to us as more of a motivational theory, but I feel like every part of that pyramid really plays into mental health as a mm -hmm. whole, you know, mm -hmm. um, your self-actualization needs, your safety needs, all of that plays yeah, a role. Cognitive really, thinking. Your co exactly. Yeah. Survival needs. Exactly. Survival exactly. exactly. And, you know. And I mean, there's many, many men, many, many men <laughs> and women. <laughs> That I don't like, friend. You know, I think we always love thinking I'm enlightened. I've moved past the stage, and I'm at self. I'm at self actualization. Then you find yourself and at five, groove. Then you find yourself no, at not groove, even and about you're crying. crying. And you're crying, or you're like in the grocery store, and you're walking. As you pick up cool beans, you just break down. You know what's going on in Woolworth. It's cold. You don't know what's happening. What I'm yeah. saying. Oh my god. What I'm saying is, we sometimes overestimate mm. that. Okay, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'll be fine. Sometimes you need to just take stock of like where you are and be like, actually, yeah. I'm not there yet. Yeah, I'm yeah. still trying to get clothes and food right now. Okay. You could be at the bottom. Exactly, and you and could it's you, fine. you could be financially stable and you're still not happy, you know. But True. I can tell you, mm -hmm. I'd be really happy if I had some money that I wouldn't have no problems. I'm not gonna like, lie, it does make my depression a little bit easier when I have money in my account. You know what I'm saying. I'm at least saying. I know, you know, if I want something, I can Which go guys, get it. I don't know, personally, hey, like, I can't relate, eh? I always just feel <laughs> grand. <laughs> 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 oh. So let's delve in with the first question over here for Ooh, you, child. my darling. Um, Ooh, so, and come so prepared. Yeah, and we're like, Doc, it's yeah I'm going to look at my notepad just to make sure that I'm, yeah, you, know? Just, you know, so I don't forget things. Also. Okay, yeah, but let's ask sure about you first and foremost. Yeah. So like, how did you get into being like a mental health activist? Sorry, Shem, I just jumped in and took the silence question. It's fine. After, 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 after recording, after recording. Yeah, it's fine, you can also ask. No, 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 I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm cutting her off after this. <laughs> after, we're done. After school, after school, after school, after school, after school, after So, yeah. I don't think there's like just one real reason. I just, I, I went through mental, well, I am still going through mental mm. health things myself mm -hmm. and it's also something that's affected my family personally so I just wanted to understand what mental health is and what actually really happens in the human brain which is why I studied mm -hmm. psychology and once I got to understand it and I realized that people don't actually talk about it and there's like some kind of stigma mm -hmm. I actually saw it from my family first mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I was like if sounds this is right, happening in my right. family <laughs> Clearly something, some yeah. there's, there's like a, there's no education around this. Mm. So then I was I like, mean, you know, if I yeah, either. if I can educate somewhere, someone, even just one person, then I think I've done enough. Yeah, that's that's, that's beautiful. That's, that's, that's beautiful. Love yeah, be I mean, a pure place. <laughs> I love it's it. a pure place for me. <laughs> um, so, what are the signs? Like, are, are, are there any? Because I know different disorders or different mental health issues present different kind of signs but yeah like what are the basic signs that you can look out for that you are like mentally feel like mentally unwell yeah mentally instance. unwell like what are like what are physical signs that you might be able to see or not like or even emotional like emotional like signs, how does one yeah. pinpoint like oh actually i'm going through some mental yeah. shit right now it's not just a bad day yeah it's very difficult, like even for people to diagnose, mm -hmm. well, to realize themselves that they're going through some kind yeah. of mental issues is 
difficult because people aren't they don't have knowledge yeah but yeah mm-hmm. like you were saying uh the symptoms do vary based off of the different type of mental mm-hmm. disorder that mm-hmm. it is that it is that you have but the most basic thing like you said in the whole definition is there's a change in behavior mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in your thought process like the, your thinking the way you interact with people mm-hmm. those are the first signs that you mm-hmm. can like spot within yourself so if you see someone basically behaving erratically like you know with your friends you know your friends mm-hmm. if you see your friend acting some type of way and you kind of know the okay, care no, something is wrong there but you mm-hmm. can't exactly say oh no she's got anxiety or depression or she's mm-hmm. manic or she's this mm-hmm. or she's whatever but you just know that something is wrong something's so do you also think like weight gain and weight loss yeah, yeah. because mental disorders manifest into physical mm. Mm. Okay. They come physical out physically. yes they come out physically cuz i get it now you don't know what's going on oh. with you so it, beca- mm. it comes out physically you chest starts feeling tight or you don't sleep as often yeah. you don't eat your appetite is you know it's terrible it's and up I and mean, down and whatever so it does it does affect your weight it affects your thinking it affects you physically yeah and i mean is this just mental disorders or is this just like a change in your mindset or is this just like when you can start acknowledging because i mean let's say something's happened you know to you for instance mm-hmm. and obviously now i don't know maybe you feel like some sort of anxiety or like something's off It doesn't mean I've got a mental disorder now no. just based on that it's just that I can feel that I'm getting the symptoms of what could become something. Yeah. yeah. And I think what I want to know is how do you how can one because I mean you just asked now how do you yeah. pinpoint if yeah. you know but how can you stop it from getting worse? Yeah. Well, you have to basically like with any other illness you go to the doctor as quickly as you possibly can because mm. the longer you put it off the worse it gets. Mm. Okay. So if you do catch the fact that you might be a little bit depressed go to the doctor and then you know it's not to say that it won't get worse because unpacking things that get mm, you yeah. to that point and it doesn't mean that if you go sooner that the process becomes mm. less or easier yeah it doesn't become easier because unpacking things can be very traumatic mm. you're re- you're reliving traumas and also some traumas that you didn't even know you had yeah. so you're basically yeah you you're going through a whole process that is very new to you so it does tend to get very difficult some need to get on medication some are fine you just go to yeah. therapy once a week and you're grand mm-hmm. so you can't delay or prolong the process you really just you just go through the motions i think it's so it really is that's just so that. nice thing but i also find it like i mean we can sit here and be like oh go to see a therapist go to a doctor go get medication but i mean these things cost money yo and if you think about people that are going through trauma and living through trauma is a lot of people living in a state of poverty of desperation yep. and they don't have the knowledge they don't have the access they don't have the they don't have the health guys they don't have it to go and be like let yeah. me just go to a therapist one has 1.5 session like it's a lot. I'm actually in the market for a therapist and it like the prices are My insane. Uh, insane. Well, like fortunately I can like, you know, medical yeah. aid and stuff. But That's not cool. everyone has access to that and it's so sad because some people actually really need the medication to get by. Oh. Like you can't there's only so much that going on to Google and learning how to do breath work or can running or mm-hmm. healthy lifestyle can do for you but sometimes you actually need the actual medication so mm. that you can be okay okay so what support structures do you have um what while well people not, not not just paying clients but are there any um toll free numbers like the South African Depression and Anxiety Group I uh, look I've heard good things and bad things about yeah, them. Um it doesn't really so what are the other resources that are um available to people in South Africa in South specifically? Africa, specifically? I really don't know. Not sure. Outside of okay. Sadek, um yeah, there's um there's a Kiso Crescent. Mm-hmm. This is a clinic that I went to like a couple of years ago mm-hmm. when my dad passed away. They came out with this app called the Panda app. Okay. Mm, what's that? What's that? Um, okay, wait. Should I I have it on my phone? No, we'll definitely have a link for yeah. it um for underneath the show. Yeah, it's called the Panda app. So yeah. basically the app has like support groups and everything is anonymous. So if you don't feel comfortable like Exposing putting your name yourself. or whatever, everything is anonymous. They give you tips on what to do mm-hmm. if you're feeling, you know, depressed or sad. They 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 tell you. They basically it's like a therapist on your phone. Yeah. Just 
So like a virtual yeah, therapist? Yeah, it's like a virtual therapist. Okay. And also it helps because there's a support group. There's people there who are probably going through the same shit that you are. Yeah. So you can identify and you can relate so you don't feel so alone. Yeah, because I feel like that. also on the Flow app, sorry for cutting you no, off there, Brittany, nice. but also on the Flow app, so Flow is, it measures... Girls know what Flow is about. Go, no, we know girls, it's about your Flow. And boyfriends no and one, No one wants to get that Flow notification, child. It's so annoying. But what I saw on the Flow app as well is that um, even if you're not a premium subscriber, there are actual chat rooms that talk about mm -hmm. different kinds of mental health. So I think that is also something mm -hmm. which is pretty dope yeah. um, that people can actually subscribe like subscribe to, to, or not even necessarily subscribe to just to have, um, because a lot of people are going through the same things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think there's also like really great anxiety coping mechanisms there, bipolar, they get into it. Because they're like, like you on this day of your flow or this day of your cycle, yeah. you might be feeling A, B, and C yeah. today. So you and also are. make use of YouTube. Like you'll be very surprised at the things that you've had. There's a lot YouTube of professors, University. professors who give talks and they give advice and all of these things, holistic people. Yeah. Like find your niche yeah. and follow those people on social media in your life get books like the more you educate yourself and you feed yourself positivity and you know what it is that you're going through the better it is for you to find ways to deal with it effectively mm -hmm. i think another place just to add on and my what my friend that's actually sort in psychology told me about was in norwood but i mean this is local this is joburg yeah. also free therapy just that's a like book type of a thing so i mean these places mm. do exist i think it's worth it just googling yeah as well because you might find yeah. something yeah, um, for sure. But we'll definitely have some of the like links if there are links, like names but the names of the places, places, places yeah. Like, look into oh, yeah, yeah, look into that. And then you know you were speaking about medication, mm -hmm. and I mean we know the traditional roots of going on anti um, antidepressants, having to go to a psychiatrist because mm -hmm. psychiatrists are doctors mm -hmm. in the medical field. They can prescribe yeah. medications mm -hmm. to deal with different kinds of psychosis, depression, mm -hmm. etc. But what I'm seeing a lot is um, a lot of herbal. Yeah. Um, what's this? Um, a lot of CBD. herbal CBD, yeah. THC, because I suffer from insomnia, yeah. and mm -hmm. my insomnia also is a part of my anxiety, or depending on what part of the cycle I am in the month, yeah. or even where I'm at mentally. Mm. So I use CBD oil or THC oil to help the insomnia, as opposed to sleeping pills, because I don't like those things. Mm -hmm. They are what are those other ones called at, at clicks? <laughs> <laughs> rescue. The, the rescue. Rescue. Comments, rescue. Whatever. Yeah, there's a lot of herbal like supplements. So yes. what, what is your take What's on your that? What's your take on Because I remember we were going herbal. off at it like when two weeks ago when we were like, okay, cool. Um, maybe you should consider a herbal as opposed to like a yeah a traditional traditional mm -hmm. medical. Yeah. So medication. so what's your stance on that? Like, I think. After like everything that I have learned, I think the whole medication thing and also how you mm. deal with your yeah. mental health mm. diagnosis or whatever it is that you're dealing with, it's all trial and error. Because yeah. mm. when you go to a psychiatrist, they give you medication to see how the medication works. Mm. If this doesn't work for you, then they try a different alternative. Mm -hmm. So it's the same with trial and how, trial yeah, it's and trial and error. You have to find what works for you. Some people find that going to the gym gives them anxiety, so then don't go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Go for long walks mm. or, you know, maybe do some yoga or whatever. Mm -hmm. So if CBD works for you, yeah. then do it. Okay. If smoking weed works, like do what works for you. I because not everything, <laughs> not everything is gonna work for everyone. We're all different. We are, sure. we don't have, we're not mm. the same as yeah, human beings. I personally can't take weed. It drives, it makes me crazy. Lissachar has seen me on me. I am the medication person. I need medication. Yeah, I can't do yeah. weed. I can't do CBD stuff because that like sends my anxiety into overdrive. Okay. Yeah. She gets paranoid. So yeah, we're different I as people. <laughs> Yo, I, yeah. So I'm just like to each their own. Just yeah. find what works for you. Learn about your depression or your anxiety or, you know, your schizophrenia whatever it is like try to learn about your <laughs> mental health issue and then you can find ways to deal with it effectively like sometimes yeah. you don't have to go on medication all the time the it's insights. not for everyone yeah. Yeah. Well, i'm really not gonna nice. lie when you said schizophrenia i just rewinded <laughs> back to that guy the sign guy at Santana's funeral i was like <laughs>
I just thought about splits. I wouldn't even lie. I thought oh, about man. splits. I thought about splits. Oh. But Bridget, do you have any closing questions? Um, I think for me, I think, you know, I think one of the things that we've got down here, or maybe something that I want to know is just like, how do we go about checking in with our friends? How or do we, like, you know, that we know, what should yeah. I do if I'm worried about someone? Like, how do I check in? Because sometimes, you know, you ask the wrong questions, you say the wrong things, and you set someone off. And I'm just like, damn. I mean, I saw it in COVID. Um, when my mom was around, she had COVID, and she, we were really worried. And I was asking questions, but like questions that are like from a logical mind, just how do I move forward? And I was like, I'm not considering my mom's feelings at all, dude. Yeah. And yeah, she's thinking, it can, oh, can she be overwhelming thing, sometimes <laughs> because you have to consider the fact that the person's probably feeling so anxious about whatever is mm. happening, and now you want to come with a flood of questions. Just exactly. like this is why I go to sleep the whole day. <laughs> No, but like this is why I sleep the whole no, day. The no, but what really, do we, how, what do we do if we're worried about a friend or relative? Um, how do we check in? What are the type of things you have to be cautious about, or words that we should use? It's not you can't know exactly what words are triggering for a person because I mean you haven't really lived their trauma, mm -hmm. but it's. So you obviously can't go and show shine yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> We're supposed that, to be serious. That will man. set somebody off, okay? <laughs> okay. But just like, joking, you just ask, hey friend, like the, the same way you guys do with me, hey friend, how are you holding up today? Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you need? Okay, you know, you can also gauge from the way that the person responds if they want to speak or if they don't. Yeah, if it's application so if you can hear that the questions, the answers are, you know, short and simple, then it's keep the conversation short. Mm -hmm. But you can check, like, how are you doing? Do you need anything? Mm -hmm. Let me know how I can help. Okay. You know, how was today easier than yesterday? Like, how are you feeling today? You know, that kind of stuff. Don't, okay, have you eaten? Like, have you taken your medication? Have you done this? Have you gone out of the house today? It's just like, sometimes, just, it's just no. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's just, yeah. They're trying to heal and there you are, babe. And yeah. also try to educate yourself on whatever it is that you're friend is dealing with, mm -hmm. that way it's a lot easier for you to understand how to approach them. Jim, I know for I sure. might be guilty of that because I'm just like, I'm just like, a, oh yeah. my gosh, I want to make sure everything's fine. Yeah. But definitely. Sometimes sure. people don't need you to fix them, guys. They just want you to listen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, and that's on go. That's on go. But thank you so much for pulling through today, guys. Thanks you know, for having just me. Just for a young chat here and for Contrizzi. I think one more drum roll for guys. <laughs> I think we need to get an actual little drum and just... Ne? I think that's overkill. You'll never stop. <laughs> oh, I was, that's going to be you like my thing. You will never <laughs> stop. We had Gamu Semenya speaking about mental mm -hmm. health, but I think something that's very serious as a society, we really need to get rid of the stigma. Um, mm -hmm. It's yeah. like it can't be taboo anymore because it is something that is so prevalent. It is something that is literally in society. Mm -hmm. And look, man, the older generation definitely needs therapy. Our parents are the grandparents need therapy, yeah. but it's already too late for those oaks. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's done. It's done, but it's we done. need to be the generation that actually changes that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, if you are not able to get to a psychiatrist or a psychologist or et cetera, please use like the platforms the that apps, are available, yeah. the apps, the podcasts, the YouTubes, because mm -hmm. I think we really do need to be a better society and um talk about some real like uh, it's not fun like i said but let's not. talk about like the real issue dude yeah man i mean it, it, it's it's tough but if it's gonna make you better then yeah why not you know what i'm saying do you have any closing remarks man i don't i think it's just you know as young ladies as young women mm -hmm. in south africa you know, leaving our like twenties and the fun behind and realizing, okay, these are the things I want for my life. Mm. I mean I'm giving a woman's perspective, I'm not yeah. a man. Yeah. Um I think it's so important for us just to be aware of these things mm -hmm. and like dude it's not good like I said, it's not going to be fun, but growing pains is a real thing, but you have to grow through it. That's for sure. Just yeah. just endure that pain and be like what is a healthy way for me to move forward as an individual, sure. as a family, right. as a couple, as a friendship. What is the healthy way? And it might not be that it's going to be something that you've already had. Maybe it'll for take sure. you on different paths. But mm. what is the healthy way so that people you meet? Like, for me, my philosophy in life is I want to meet and see people and leave them better than I found them. Yeah. yeah. Sure. That's how I know I've been doing. I'm, I'm yeah. doing the work. I'm doing yeah. the work that I need to do. And oh, yeah. And another thing, guys. People in corporate, you know, a lot of the companies oh actually offer in-house um, psychologists, 
Oh, Psych I colleges. thought that was going to go a whole different way. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Because, do we, because the work environment... No, they do. Is, they no, do. Like, they, they, like, they've got yes, so no, much change I know management that, but, they you know. do. They but do. also, like, we also have to talk about how the corporate um, structure in South Africa, the work environment is horrible. I thought it was going to go that way. Um, how that yes, actually affects... No, because it's real. It's, it's, it's true. Why do you think I'm it's not true. in corporate anymore? Because it's some business. You know thing. what I'm saying? People are actually effing themselves because they can't they can't handle it. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. please, guys, use those resources. Yeah. We are tired of losing young, talented people, you know, due to mental health issues. So yeah. mm -hmm. especially you corporate guys, please, we don't want to hear you guys jumping off buildings because it's very traumatic. Anyone, yeah. actually corporate yeah. people. I mean, people that are like, I mean, Industry entrepreneurs. people, entrepreneurs, everybody. Yeah, you are. Guys, I think it's so important just to know that, like, shop, you know, you might go through things as people. You're not alone, but, like, you are not short of love as a human being. There's definitely at least one person in your world, in your like network that loves you. Yeah. And it might not be the love that you want or the love that you expect at the time, but there's someone that loves you you're not at a lack of love. And also black men, please speak it's up. It's not even just that. It's not always a lack of love. You yeah. can have all the love surrounding you, but if you do not have the necessary help that you need, it doesn't help. There up. are people who are functional, depro what's that, what's the word? They, they're living with depression, but they're functional. Like, you, you're a functional... You know how you have, like, like functional, functional drug addicts yeah, and a function... Yeah. There are yeah. people who are living functionally with depression. That is well. yeah. And That's you can have all the love. They give love. They receive love. They, they're happy, and then one minute yeah. they're gone. Yeah. Guys, I think it's so wild as human beings how we adapt. Because yeah. we actually just endure. For sure. Literally. But hey, hey that was our shirt. That was a bit deep. deep. We try to laugh at some of <laughs> trying to laugh sometimes, but I mean, and make like just make yeah. it lighthearted, but it's a real it's a real issue. Thing. It is, and also sometimes Seek help guys if you need help and don't feel yeah. embarrassed, exactly. man. Like, and also laugh at yourself sometimes, eh? Things things are already bad in the I world. I think we've been laughing at ourselves as South yeah. Africans for years. Yeah. We everything is comedy in South Africa. Yeah. Everything is comical. We so make hey. we turn everything into a joke. So, yeah. but so yes, thank you, Kamu. Thank you my beautiful co-host and thanks for the viewers for tuning in again I'm we can't wait out. you know what i'm saying i can't wait to see you on the next show do you want to take us out baby girl i really don't have too much to say just be kind guys be kind to people you don't know what people are going through exactly just be a nice person it doesn't take a lot of you exactly. just be nice turn that frown Upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say turn that frown into a crown. I was like, peace out, guys. Thank you oh for tuning God. in. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.